For many fans of the Star Wars prequels, an Obi-Wan Kenobi show was everything I ever wanted from Star Wars and more, so naturally I was really excited for this show. I've been waiting for it for a long time since it was announced, I think a couple years ago, and I gotta say that it really delivered. I think the show is very nuanced. It has a lot of things that I enjoyed for about the prequels, but it also built itself to be its own thing. Like It employs a lot of the things I loved about those uh, that trilogy, and also a lot of the modern Disney stuff they're trying to do with good writing, and today I'm gonna go over it and discuss it, because I really liked it and I have a lot of thoughts about it. So starting with the main character Obi-Wan, this show is a continuation from the events of The Clone Wars and Episode 3. So we get to see like an older Obi-Wan 10 years after those events, after Order 66. And that is, I think, the spirit of the show is showing like a devastated Obi-Wan after the events of those movies. And I really like the way, uh, you know, that Star Wars is trying to continue his story and also kind of like tell the way he uh, like evolved after those events. Because that's something that can really hurt a character. So seeing him in pain and seeing like all his emotions shown uh, throughout the show and trying to like kind of in a way redeem himself. I think Ewan McGregor did an amazing job in his role. It was great seeing him and Hayden Christensen again after so long and I think he really shows and understands the character of Obi-Wan Kenobi on screen and the scenes with Hayden which I'll go into more detail later uh, are really great and I'll explain why in a little bit. Darth Vader was one of the highlights of the season, and seeing him in now his full power, something we saw glimpses of in Rogue One and the Jedi Fallen Order game, uh, was everything I wanted to see. I loved seeing Vader this way, like super powerful, and that's something we didn't really see in the original trilogy, but I think the way Disney is exploring his character and his power after what we saw in the original trilogy, like Anakin's potential and all that, I think really does his character a lot of justice. I have to say this season of Obi-Wan Kenobi is not perfect, there are especially some areas where it could have been better. And with this I mean like some quality dips and around episodes like 2 to 4 where there were like some really strange writing decisions, especially one scene where Leia is like running through the forest and they got like these guys which are the Red Hot Chili Peppers I think, like chasing her through the forest and then she just like goes under it and they're trying to catch her. And some other scenes with Reva, like this she is like an Inquisitor new villain who they try to explore a little bit in this season. I think her character was a little bit weird, like it worked in some times and in others it didn't. But overall, I think they could have been done more with the character. I feel like some of the decisions that happened with her didn't work so well. For example, in the end, like in episode six, uh, she's trying to chase and kill Luke for no apparent reason. I don't really know the reason she was trying to chase Luke. But they kind of, she kind of like has a change of heart in the end. She doesn't kill her. She's like, oh, what am I doing? Like that wasn't really that well explained or well built up until that point. So that's something I had an issue with. But overall, I'm going to go over the episodes five and six because those were my favorite uh, except for that scene. So before I explore episodes 5 and 6, let me go a little over the plot of Obi-Wan Kenobi because I feel like that is important in order to understand how important these scenes are and why this character is so great. So basically the show takes 10, year, 10 years after the events of the last movie. Uh, we see an older Obi-Wan Kenobi, more experienced, kind of like a little bit more depressed. And basically they kidnap Leia, who they take her like somewhere else. And that's basically to hunt down Obi-Wan Kenobi because the Empire is trying to kill all the remaining Jedi and they know of his existence. So I think that plot was well executed, especially with the beginning with the Grand Inquisitor. I thought those scenes were very tense, very good. I wish that momentum from the first episode was kept throughout the other episodes, but it, I think it doesn't until the very end. And I enjoyed those episodes. And I have to say the Leia plot surprised me a little bit. I didn't expect it to be that way, like her being so prominent in the series. Uh, but I liked it. I think the, the child actor who plays Leia did a great job. And she was very funny at times. So I think that plot was well done and it was well executed in some parts. And I think it didn't work in others. But overall, uh, his journey, like there were a little bit of pieces of information of what happened in the past, what happened today. And that was well executed. But then we go into some other problems. So for example, in the first fight between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, I feel like he's very weak, like he has some years without practice and basically gets his ass kicked by Darth Vader. And then miraculously, like a couple episodes later, he's like the best fighter there is and he regains all his power. It isn't very explained how that was done. I think it was a good idea, but the execution wasn't really there. However, those final fights with Darth Vader was, were amazing. I mean, those final two episodes were just everything I wanted to see over the series because of the fighting, the, you know, everything from the lighting, the location, you know, the dialogue, the final dialogue between Vader and Obi-Wan, the flashback scenes, it was, I think it was just really well executed and everything a prequel fan would want to see in an Obi-Wan Kenobi show. So I feel like those final two episodes really redeem everything, uh, like all the flaws in a way, like maybe some parts yes, some parts no, but I really liked it. 
So yeah, overall, I think the series had some issues, but we can't ignore the, the fact that this is like a love letter for prequel fans and just everything I wanted to see from an Obi-Wan show. I really liked it. And yeah, I like the series. I don't think it's perfect, but it did its job. So anyways, I think I'm going to give Obi-Wan Kenobi an 85 out of 100. And yeah, that'd be everything for today. Thank you all for watching this video. Stay tuned for more reviews and I'll see you next time.